when I was a school kid and they ask you what you wanted to be when you're older, art was never an option. Not that I didn't enjoy being creative or going that, down that line, it's just I didn't think it was a viable career. I'd always enjoyed metalwork, I loved drawing. I took a gap year at uni and I thought I'll just give this a crack. I'm not really sure how to respond when people call me an artist because I still don't really feel like what I'm doing is art. I make stuff just because I feel I don't drawn to making things, but I guess I leave that up to other people to determine if it's art or if it's not. The animal is my inspiration first. I'll find an animal that inspires me, and from that I will collect the scrap that I need for that piece. Some of the metal dates well over 100 years old, and I come along and then hopefully prolong its life for another 100 years that everyone can appreciate. You can really capture an animal through the eyes. I think the eyes are the gateway to the soul of anything. But as soon as you also capture movement in the animal, you can capture the form, the personality, the character, the whole piece will come alive. The beauty of what I'm doing, it's not just the animal that creates the sentimental value, but it's also the pieces in the animal that create the sentiment. So there might be um, stories within stories within stories. Hopefully there's a bit for everyone in uh, the works I do. And I mean, if it brings a smile to their face as well, I mean, that's a bonus. And what more could you ask for?